This uh, has no music. Uh, welcome to The Man in the Attic, a short horror game based mainly on the atmosphere. And we're going to be playing because I... F uh, uh, yes. And that's my reasoning, ladies and gentlemen. Vote for me for president. I cannot possibly fuck up this country more than it already is. When I was a kid, I often had the same nightmare. It was about this man just standing in my room looking at me. I was convinced that he came from the attic. I shared my bedroom with my brother at that time. And when I had this dream, I often spoke out loud during my sleep. According to my brother, I said things like, Somebody's here. There's a man here. He is here. <laughs> it freaked my brother out in the middle of the night a couple of times. I'm an adult now, and that horrible nightmare is just a distant memory. Now. I gotta say now twice, or else I'll forget when now is. Fine phone. From what I remember, um, it was this game's modeled in Blender, and then put into Unreal Engine. Which... If I remember correctly, it's a great engine. It's really powerful and shit. I can't direct this. I gotta find my phone. Remember to find your 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 phone. I'm here. I get, get pick up the fucking phone. Hey, brother. I just wanted to let you know that I, we arrived at home safely. Thank you for the invitation. We had a great time, and it was nice to catch up. I also feel like I apologize for Lily's behavior, but you know how kids are and their imaginations. She was probably very tired as well. See you take care later. Now, why would she be- it's getting like a- I should clean up first. Clean up what? This place looks fucking spotless to me. Oh, yeah, sorry, the three tables that I have left here until- I- what, what, what the fuck is this still doing here? Today, my brother came to visit, and he brought his family along. His wife and his seven-year-old daughter. His, her name is Lily, and technically she is my niece. It's uh, been a while since I've last seen them, so we spent about half an hour catching up with each other, just talking. After a while, I noticed that Lily was really uninterested. I don't blame her. After all, adults talking about their everyday stuff is probably the most boring thing for a child. I'm a pretty good uncle, so I offered to let her watch TV in the upstairs room. Showed her all the cartoon channels. I let her watch some TV, away from the boring adults. She was grateful. Ah, oh, not this kitchen design. Listen, is it so hard to have an open kitchen design where we separate the boundaries between the kitchen and the living room? <laughs> The night went on. It seemed like everyone had a good time. Dinner was ready, and so I was about to go upstairs to get Lily to eat with us. And that's when all of a sudden Lily ran downstairs screaming. She looked absolutely terrified. It took her a couple of minutes before she could speak. But then she finally said this. There was a man upstairs staring at me from the doorway now. Just now. Now. <laughs> Confused. Perhaps a bit frightened. We all went upstairs. I was wondering why she forgot to say now at the end of her sentences. Searched everything. Checked the attic as well. Only to find nothing. Eventually, my brother dismissed Lily's story, claiming she was probably just getting tired. And soon after, they left for the night. I'm once again completely alone in the house. And Lily's down story sounds way too familiar it reminds me when i was a kid and had the exact same nightmare it's almost like there was someone there i my headphones are rubbing against the table and i thought there was a man upstairs according to the story this is the man standing there looking straight at her from the doorway before returning to the act just like in my dreams <laughs> that man was ps1 hybrid he's waiting to have dinner with me but you know i got amnesia Coming from the attic. Well, 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 now. There seems that there's a creature now up there now. Let's check it out now, shall we now? I don't remember leaving this door open. I don't remember a door. I don't remember dooring this leave open. I don't remember open this door leaving. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I just straight up door. Uh, he's in that closet, isn't he? Alright. You mess with the wrong house, fool! Hey, yo, yo, it's me, CJ. Chill, chill, CJ. CG. Damn. This is stupid. There's nothing up here. It's one ugly ass painting, CJ. Oh! Sometimes a strange noise at night keeps you awake. Then you anxiously search for the cause, but won't find anything. You question it once more. Alright, my dick is big and my balls are bigger. Is the manic in the attic real? Nah. Dude, you're just being fucking obnoxious. There's no man in the attic. There is no attic even. It's just nothing. Also, if you were smart, you'd lock your fucking doors. If you really are that concerned, you'd lock the attic door. But you're not because you're stupid. Am I controlling this? No, okay. I'm assuming this is the dream of my character where he comes down the attic, yeah. Shit, it's just a pair of eyes. Fear is subjective, but it is not com common to be afraid of the man in the attic, or the man in the basement, perhaps a man under your bed. HA! 
I don't have a bed. So jokes on you. See, the reason why people are afraid of me, all right, when I live in, it's not because I live in the back alley, all right? It's not because I rob a Dave and Buster's, even though no one works there anymore. Or show, or, or like whip it out in CVS. I go, hey, you got a pill for this? And I whip out my cock. And they're like, to please put that back. Uh, no, it's because I'm the only man on earth that has a Wawa Whoopsie DVD. That's right, you cannot fucking claim to have a DVD of Wawa Whoopsies. That's the one thing you'll never have in fucking.